What's up you phonies, how's it going? Welcome to another Blender tutorial. I made this cool little scene where I have this building, a tsunami is crushing through it, and I'm gonna show you how you can make a scene like that super easy, like super easy. You barely need any knowledge about 3D animation. Any beginner could make a scene like that. Let's begin. So when I look through my scene here, you can already see that it is kind of slow for multiple reasons. The funny thing is I don't even have my liquid simulation on right now. I just have my 3D scene and it's already super slow because my computer is old as fuck. But that's how it is. So anyways, let's just look through it. On our top view here, we can see our camera. In solid view, this is what it looks like. And I always highly recommend set your camera and your lighting first. Like your very first thing. Otherwise, you're gonna spend so much time on modeling details, placing assets and models. And in the end, maybe you're not even gonna see any of this because it's gonna be a night scene or whatever. So please. Set your lights, camera first. Have a certain look in mind when you build something like that. I knew that I'm gonna use an HRI with a sunset or something pretty in the background. And that's why I needed a high detailed model of a building, this building. And no, I did not model this myself because I wouldn't even know how. Well, I would know how, but I don't think I could do a good job and this here it's not even a model, this here is a 3D scan. So it's even better. And I got this 3D scan from Blender Kit. If you don't know what Blender Kit is, it's a library of so many models. Some of them are paid, but if I click on this little icon here and go on free first, I have lots of free models that I can look for whatever I want. For example, I'm looking for a car. And now I have all of these cars available. And for example, I used this one. It's right here. So with this add-on, again, Blender Kit, please go get it if you don't have it already. I got this little house here with this little ground. And I got those few cars. All of it from there for free. And also this little trash can here. And I placed this trash can here just to cover up my background because I don't want to see that far into the distance. That's why I also highly recommend work from foreground to background. So when I place my objects, I started with my Miho here. And technically I should have started with this trash can, but I didn't. And then I placed the cars, then I placed the building. And behind the building, I have my fluid simulation, which I cannot turn on right now because that would make my computer very slowly. I'm going to try it later though so you can get an idea what it actually looks like uh, in 3D space. And anyways, the last step I did was after I baked my fluid simulation, I knew what it's going to look like. Then I placed my foreground object here because I did want to cover up everything here on the left, the left down here. Now let me try to turn on my uh, the domain of my liquid. Let's hope Blender is not going to crash. Not looking great. I'm regretting it already. Oy, oy, oy. Not looking great guys. And uh, well, Blender crashed. So I guess I cannot show you the 3D scene with the liquid. It's a shame, but that's how it is. But that's the tricky part about those liquid simulations. They always take a lot of computer power and I do not have this computer power so keep that in mind when you want to make liquid simulations you do need a powerful computer uh, there is a different option which i will not cover in this video but it would be from ember gin you could you use ember what is it liquid gin i believe or fluid gin but there you can make your fluid simulations in real time haven't tested it out myself yet. If you tried it, please let me know in the comments below how much you love it. It costs around $400 for the entire packet a year, which I cannot afford right now. Maybe, potentially, possibly, eventually though. So uh, I'm very excited to try it one day. But for now, I have to make my liquid simulations inside of Blender. 
I'm going to try to turn on the domain one more time and if that doesn't work then I give up and I'm not going to show you but I will show you the rest okay it doesn't look great okay blender crashed again so I apologize for this little error here but that just shows you how much work goes into those 3d scenes not just creative work also just uh, having a lot of patience with your poor computer who's working so hard so be kind to your computer anyways we're back here let let me show you what also is important for your scene if you want to build a scene like this because in order to have a fluid simulation i have a whole tutorial up here if you want to check it out but just a quick breakdown what you really need for fluid simulation you need a fluid emitter i have multiple ones but the one here in the back this is my main emitter we're in the back of the building right now so this emits fluids fluid crashing towards the building the way i did that was when i go to my fluid simulations this is my fluid the type is flow liquid inflow and i increase the y initial velocity that means that towards the y-axis positive y like 11 ms i think that's miles per second um then that's the speed my fluid goes towards the y-axis and i had to try it out many many times until i found a value i like it always depends on the scale of your domain the scale of your liquid simulation so those things really uh, impact that so that's this number here uh, anyways i have a few more emitters i have a few ones which are coming out of the windows and here the initial velocity is the same direction but a little weaker because i mostly just wanted it to drip down this one for example um, goes mostly down so the initial velocity for z is negative one so it just goes straight down which gave me like cool puddle here and uh, the main thing is what we needed to do where the only part of modeling for me really uh, took place here um, was to make collision objects because yes I could have made a collision object um, or what they call it an effector uh, in the fluid simulations so you need to make this building an effector so when the water crashes against it it actually goes around and not just straight through it so in order to that the easiest way would be just select your model go on fluid make it an effector but this building especially because this building is a 3d scan it would take such a long time to render this you have no idea it goes exponentially if a regular bake would take let's say a minute if you bake it with this building as a fluid effector it would probably take at least an hour instead of doing that what i made was that's why i'm saying it's a little bit of uh, modeling involved i made collision objects here for this building let me just go to solid view because it's good enough when we look at this just this here is my collision object so i basically modeled just a simple model which was a cube on this cube i made another edge bring, brought it out because that's what the building underneath looks like so when i turn it back off you see this is my actual building on top of that i made this cube and here you can see it's a fluid it's an effector it has collision and uh, that's exactly what i need and i did the same thing for this building so this is my left collision this is my right collision so here same thing i made an object right on uh, on top of my actual building and the only real modeling i had to do here is with a knife tool uh, let me go back to solid view because it's faster so with the knife tool i cut out this piece and brought it out of my building so i basically extruded this part out of the building plus i made a hole in here so the water could actually flow through I made this hole before I made my other um, fluids here, like those fluid boxes. I thought I'm going to make holes in the building first, but then I realized, hey, it's way easier to just make other inflow objects. 
anyways let's go back to our building so i modeled this here a little bit what i did was i extruded this because uh, my actual house i turn this off had this little roof here and i wanted water to come through here and you can see it in the original scene a little when you go close up that the water drops onto this roof and then on the, onto the ground so it's just a little detail yes i could live without this detail but the more details you make the better it's going to look so even if i build this here which i didn't it would have been better see for me it's just a cube it's straight but the actual building actually goes inside here and that's why i'm telling you set your camera and your lighting first because then you're gonna see exactly what you're actually gonna see in your scene like i don't see those details here in the background even i do see this part that's why i modeled this roof here but the rest you're not seeing so really pick your battles how much effort you put into your detail because yes you could be spending a year on this little scene but do you want to i don't know i don't because i would rather make 365 projects in the next year than one crazy one because it's just more fun you learn more and it's also great to have stuff to post on the social medias like my instagram for example and again i put some cars here in vehicles yes i could have put more cars i probably should have but this entire video is just to break down how easily you can make a scene like this in a few minutes or maybe an hour i guess this project took me an hour just to build the scene maybe less let's say 30 minutes but it took a long time to get the bake ready to make sure the simulation looks proper it still doesn't look perfect so if i really wanted to make the scene real good i probably would need to spend a few days on that just like my other simulation videos i made like for example this diarrhea scene this scene alone took six weeks to make because it was for a short film i wanted it to look like perfect i wanted it to be good so it took longer but technically it's the same process so guys thank you so much for watching if you have any questions regards this scene or any blender questions or any vfx quest questions or any film making questions anything what is filmmaking related please let me know in the comments below Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Doo -doo -doo.